So I thought I'd do a follow-up review. Uh, I've ridden the uh, Luna X2 a few times now. Um, so I got the suspension when I got it. I took it to a shop because I didn't really want to mess with the suspension. So I got the suspension uh, a little bit tuned up for me. Um, you can kind of see where I've been getting. You know, it hasn't been all the way down, but... Um, It'll go lower if I uh, do a jump. I pushed it up once before, so I think you can still, probably still bottom out a little, but it's a lot better. Um, overall, uh, you know, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Um, I got this little thing for holding my phone. Seems to work pretty good. Um, and then, you know, the display's not, like, uh, crazy bright, but I still find it pretty easy to read in the sun. Uh, And as you can see, I've gone about 17 and a half miles and I'm still 84% battery. So um, I do a fair amount of pedaling, um, but uh, that's pretty good for me. I'm expecting then I can get, you know, 40 to 50 miles uh, to one battery charge. Uh, back suspension, um, yeah, I've been pretty happy with that. I haven't really noticed anything weird. Brakes um, have been good. I actually really like these pedals that it comes with. Um, you know, everybody's kind of got their different likes, but for me, it's worked well. Uh, the seat post can be a little sticky when you're using the dropping mechanism, but nothing that's been, like, really bothersome. Um, and I really like the brakes. Brakes seem good. I uh, adjusted these really far out so I can kind of do a, you know, a one finger pull on both of them so, uh, without hitting the knuckles. So that's really, um, that's really, uh, uh, been good. Okay, um, a couple other things. Um, so the, uh, Derailer is it's okay. It's a it can be a little clunky and it's really hard to kind of get on this top ring. I've noticed. So um, I don't know if there's maybe some adjustment I need to do at the bottom here or uh, to get a little. It seems pretty well lined up with these in between gears. It doesn't, but on this top gear it can still kind of hear it uh, binding slightly, just kind of feeling like it's not quite wanting to stay on there, if that makes sense. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, it, it's fine. I try not to shift under load, because that's what they say. Uh, we'll uh, put a lot more stress on the chain and the sprockets. So, as I shift, I kind of let off the, and sometimes I'll even rotate my feet slightly backwards. So, um, you know, it's kind of like if you're going to approach a hill, you probably want to be close to the right gear um, before you uh, start your ascent or else, uh, you know. You're, you might have to shift and that might cause some challenges. Uh, overall, I think it's okay. Um, uh, we'll have to see how it goes after I put a lot more miles on it. Um, motor seems great. I don't have the ludicrous mode. I just have the normal 750 watts. Um, you know, I, once I get it in the gear I want and doing the things I want, I think, you know, it's been fine for everything I need. Um, 
So pretty happy with that thus far. Um, what I will say, as far as writing it, um, uh, I think it rides great so far. However, it is different than like a normal mountain bike. So my previous mountain bike was just a regular, uh, just a regular non-electric mountain bike. And there's definitely a forward biased weight difference you can feel because the battery is inside this down tube. I think the placement is probably pretty good because it's low, but like it's just, you know, that weight, you're, you're just not going to get around that weight uh, in there uh, and changing the characteristics of the bike slightly. So um, I think that's kind of getting used to how the bike performs and how to ride with that a uh, little forward weight bias especially if you're going to do jumping um, uh, things like that because you, you kind of have to counterbalance that a little bit or do your approaches or uh, descents uh, off those jumps slightly differently um, but yeah, so I've noticed that. And it's kind of interesting because you can actually just uh, take out the battery uh, completely. Because this, uh, if you see here, I don't know if I can show this, but this just pushes down and this thing pops out. The, all right, so you have this cover and then you have the battery inside. You can literally take out the battery, put the cover back on, and go riding without the battery. And then it's much more... Uh, characteristic of a you know regular mountain bike um, ooh, that's getting sticky from all the dirt but um, but yeah it's uh, it's definitely got some uh, getting used to features and bias there that need to be uh, accounted for when you're riding um, so overall, yeah, I would say I'm pretty happy with it. Um, gonna put a bunch more miles on it, hopefully over the next several months, and uh, kind of get a feel for it. There's a bunch of trails that I uh, want to do. Um, my last e-bike was just a non; it was a hard frame, no front, sus no suspension at all, and I couldn't do a lot of the trails. So this is um, this is. Uh, much better suited for a lot of the riding I want to do, and I want to see how it's going to perform. Um, I'm sure the Rock Shocks version is probably going to be better, as what I've heard about the shocks. But I'm going to keep these on and keep going and see how they do. Um, so far, they seem to be fine. Um, I think if you if you get them set up and you're not like a professional uh, mountain biker. You know, I'd assume that they should be okay for most people. Uh, at least I'm in that category. Um, so until they uh, fail me miserably, I'm just going to keep keep using them. Or if I notice that, you know, there's there becomes a lot of issues with them. But there's no weird noises, uh, no clunks or creaks or cracks or anything like that. So that's kind of been good. The motor is super quiet. Uh, this one came with the silent gear. I think that's what all the X2s come with. And it's, I mean, to me, it's very, very quiet. So I don't have any complaints with the noise of the motor. Um, and yeah, overall, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy thus far. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll put up another review after a few, several few, um, maybe I'll put up another review after another few months after I've ridden it a lot more and we'll go from there. All right, thanks. If you've got any questions, uh, just throw them in the comments.